Well, Mr. Speaker, let's review the facts. First, the Prime Minister violated the rules by getting on the Aga Khan's helicopter. Then he misled Canadians by saying, that was my only option. Oh, but today he's blaming the RCMP for that one. Mr. Speaker, then he failed to disclose the full amount of the $134,000 that his little Xmas getaway cost taxpayers. What arrogance, Mr. Speaker. So will the Prime Minister come clean and admit that he willingly and he knowingly broke the rules? Government House Leader. Order. Mr. Speaker, as has been said time and time again, regardless of whether on personal or um, business, uh, the Prime Minister must travel in government aircraft. The, the, the RCMP determined the securest way for the Prime Minister to travel, and I have to say this government is committed to working hard for Canadians, and that's where our focus is. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Order. I, remember, I, I realize members feel strongly about topics from question period, but I urge the honourable members for St. Albert, Edmonton and Banff Airdrie to contain themselves. The honourable opposition house leader has the floor. Mr. Speaker, this trip has once again exposed the Prime Minister's bad judgment, his disrespect for the Canadian taxpayer and his lack of integrity. Mr. Speaker, a Prime Minister should have good judgment, a Prime Minister should respect the Canadian taxpayer and a Prime Minister should have integrity. This one can't even keep his other on holiday story straight. So, Mr. Speaker, what is the next shoe that's going to drop? What is the next thing that Canadians are going to find out that this Prime Minister has been misleading them on? Honourable Government House Leader. He must always be in the position to carry out his official duties. This Prime Minister made a campaign commitment to Canadians to lower taxes on middle class Canadians by increasing taxes on the wealthiest 1% of Canadians. That's exactly what we did. Mr. Speaker, this government committed to help families with children that needed the most the Canada Child Benefit. That's exactly what we did by delivering on the Canada Child Benefit to help families with children that needed the most. This government will continue to respond to the very real challenges that Canadians are facing. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.